<clears throat> just home from NZ Spirit Festival, where Arana Hamida, who is a DJ, a performer, an amazing, incredible woman, uh, her father was is a Palestinian refugee. I think he left in the can't remember when he left. Um, so she's Palestinian, although she grew up outside Palestine uh, in Emirates and now in New Zealand. And at the closing ceremony of NZ Spirit Festival, Rana stood and spoke to what is unfolding in Palestine on such a, an expansive and deep level. And then she sang this beautiful, beautiful song which i'm presuming is a palestinian song so watch out for footage from the closing ceremony of nz spirit festival to see that i just wanted to come on and reiterate something that rana states so clearly that is so dear to my heart as i watch what is unfolding in gaza in palestine in the land that is also known as israel It is so, so important that we stand and speak of what we see. I don't even want to use the word protest as such, because what is also absolutely critical and absolutely important, what is the invitation for us now is that when we stand and speak up and say no more and say ceasefire now and say, free Palestine and say liberation and all of these things that we are able to do our own work so that we can digest any hatred that might be arising in us for those who are causing this suffering or appear to be causing the suffering, right? Uh, it is absolutely critical that we do not come from hatred because the moment that we come from fear and hatred, we have become the other as such. We have become the thing we are protesting against. And I know that there's so much anger and it's justified. I know there's so much frustration. You know, I know there's that like, what the fuck? you know, like all of that. And this really is the deepest deepest practice to be able to stand in love with love for love by love of love right which can be just as fucking fierce just as much a stake in the ground just as much a no fucking more right and it still holds everything and everyone in love because everybody believes that they are the good guy Everybody is the hero in their story. You know, the Israeli Defense Force, the IDF, they believe the narrative and the story they are telling until they don't, right? Their perception of reality, how they perceive Palestinians, the lack of safety that, that they feel. And I think this is really important to acknowledge and to honor, right? The, I don't, I'm not going to speak too much of the Zionist movement because I don't, I did study it at, at high school. We studied the Zionist movement because we studied the conflict in Israel and Palestine when I was at high school. But I just, I want to speak to the Jewish experience and to acknowledge the fact that what happened in World War II was not the only thing, you know, like the, the programs against the Jewish, the way that they were massacred and slaughtered in Europe for, for so many hundreds of years, the deep, deep ancestral wounding that, that of like, of not being safe, right? And I want to name and acknowledge the fact that when Hamas came into, um, into Israel and kidnapped hostages, I also want to point out that they did not kill all the people that it was said that they killed. Some of the Israelis that were killed, some of the hostages that were killed were killed by Israeli fire right? Um, it's such a complex situation. It's so nuanced. But I just want to acknowledge the fact that when Hamas did that, that they triggered one of the deepest, deepest wounds within the Jewish psyche. This is my perception. This is what I see. This is not necessarily the only truth, all of the truth. 
but they trigger that really deep wound of of not feeling safe in one's home because one might be persecuted you see this does not excuse what the idf has since done this does not excuse the genocide that has been taking place right this is about understanding the conditions that are given rise to the unfolding this is about understanding our role in it, our place in it, how we can serve, right? How we can show up and be in protest from love, right? Our responsibility, our obligation is to own and dissolve the hatred because that is what we wish to see Israel do, right? That is what we wish to see the Nazis do is to own and dissolve the hatred. So we must do that. We must model that, which doesn't mean we don't stand, which doesn't mean that we don't protest, right? And I get it. This is deep fucking work. But so many of us have been doing deep work in the yoga world, in the spiritual world, right? Why do we practice? Why do we do the work? If not for this, then what for? You see? I just fell into Rana. <sighs> we are so connected through the collective body, right? And when we really connect in and feel the experience of another, it is so real. And this is why it's challenging for those who are standing up. I bless you for those who are protesting, who those who are out in the streets, right? To do this and to really feel the grief of all of those people killed in Gaza and also the Israeli people that have been killed when Hamas came out, right? All people to feel the grief and the heartache of that and to really meet it, that takes courage. That is what it means to be a warrior. Because if we don't meet the heartache and we don't meet the grief, then we will go into the, the hatred, you know, and then we will, we will vent it, export it outside of us and cause even more suffering. So, yes, it is big work. Yes, it is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking right now. And that is my invitation to you all, is allow your heart to be broken. Allow your heart to be broken by what is happening as you stand up and speak up. Because when the heart is broken, it is not broken, it is cracked open. <laughs> when we let our heart break over and over, it cracks open. When the heart cracks open, it just becomes what it always has been, which is this radiant, infinite, unlimited field of love. So that is the invitation. Recognize if you are hating what is happening, recognizing if you don't want it to be, it is happening, it is happening, it is happening. Let it break your heart. Let it break your heart. Let it break your heart. Open. And from that openness, stand and protest and speak up. This is our moment to liberate. This is humanity's moment to liberate, to stop the cycle of hatred, bouncing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. No more, right? Just feeling it all, like feeling into Palestine and the Palestinians and Israel and the Israelis and the fighting and the conflict and the fear and the hatred. 
acknowledging that there may be some beings that feed off that and I will not be one of them. I will not be one of them. And you get to choose. You get to choose. You feed off the fear and the hatred. Or you let yourself be cracked open and become the love that you are. What else is there to do but be that? <laughs>